Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Did Sugar shoot Steffi and Finn, is Sheila innocent? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Deacon Sharp will get a major shock when he talks to Lauren Fenmore Baldwin about Sugar, the woman who was tricked into having plastic surgery to look just like Sheila Carter. That obviously answers the question of who Steffi Forrester took down at the Precipice House. Cleric has been complex since he knows he saw Sheila's face just before the cremation, but he also saw ten toes, which doesn't add up since Sheila had nine. Lauren will help Deacon start working out this riddle once he realizes Sugar must have been the woman under that distance. Still, we should maybe consider another story twist now that Sugar's name is coming up. Out of all the horrible effects Sheila has done, the worst was when she fired at Steffi and John Finn Finnegan in the alley that night. Sheila left Finn and Steffi to bleed out, so she really crossed the line. Still, it did go a long way toward redeeming Sheila, at least enough for Finn to decide he wants his birth mama in his life, if BNB could undo all that. What if Sugar is the one who actually shot Steffi and Finn? Could Sheila be innocent? Of course, that obviously wasn't the plan back when the original plot was mugged, but rewrites be all the time on detergents. Now that there's a departed Sheila Ringer in the picture, perhaps the show could make some adaptations. It did take some work to explain it, but it might be worth the trouble if Sheila is no longer responsible for the worst of her crimes. One explanation might be if Sugar pulled the detector on Finn and Steffi before enthralling Sheila into believing she pulled it rather. Sheila was relatively distrait in the fate and eventually made defenses about it being an accident that she shot her own son. Maybe Sheila was just brainwashed into believing she did what Sugar's actually to condemn for. What if Sugar orchestrated the whole thing as a way to shoot Sheila to captivity? Sugar's rearmost plot at the Precipice House might have been her alternate attempt to get relief of Steffi and have Sheila go down for it. Anyhow, Sugar looks identical to Sheila, so the show has a chance to rewrite effects and jut the alley drama on Sugar rather if that's the route they want to take. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Deacon will get updates on some wild news, so stick with us for further prognostications on all the surprises. Chaotic marriage repeat deja vu Sheila crashes Finn and Steffi's oath renewal? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates tease some chaotic marriage redo deja vu as Sheila Carter crashes a oath renewal. John Finn Finnegan and Steffi Forrester may well decide to renew their promises now that Sheila seems to be dead, although Finn's indeed starting to have dubieties. The bold and the beautiful spoilers closure set up Finn did find some check at the honorary Deacon Sharp hat for Sheila at I.L. Giardino, and Hope Logan was a great probative friend. Finn did spend some time reflecting on how his birth mama first came into his life, after numerous times wondering about her, not knowing who she was. Finn knew nothing about Sheila's history or the effects she did done to hurt the Foresters, Logans and Spencers, and so he was agitated she came after times. Of course, after she showed up at his marriage to Steffi and he proudly introduced her, it all went upwardly from there. In fact, just the sight of Sheila unleashed total fear and mayhem and indeed resolve up his consanguineous mama and the man he was told was his consanguineous father. BNB spoilers Finn's focus was on his marriage day and Sheila there were other recollections Finn had at Sheila's keepsake, like seeing her vulnerable side and giving her a clinch outside a courtroom. Another memory was when he and Kelly Spencer were at the sand, and he'd to take a patient call Sheila Dove in and saved Kelly from drowning. But important of his focus was on his marriage day, and that seems to allude about a oath renewal, given he and Steffi have talked so much about their challenges recently. Since Cleric saw ten toes on the supposed cadaver of Sheila's, and set up some textbook dispatches between her and Sugar Sheila is bound to show up. Potentially, she could also be saved by Finn and Deacon, they will get some leads from a homeless man named Tom. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, chaotic marriage repeat deja vu Sheila crashes Finn and Steffi's oath renewal? The bold and the beautiful spoilers crashing a oath renewal would be important further adulatory Tom may not be the whole answer to the what happened to Sheila riddle, although Finn is obviously induced by Deacon's ten toes story by that time. Cleric likely shows him the textbooks between her and Sugar on her phone, but just because Finn believes she's alive doesn't mean they find her. Besides, it would be more adulatory for Finn and Steffi to have a oath renewal, conceivably with utmost everyone there as firstly and have Sheila crash it. It seems like Sheila would more likely go to Deacon first, 
but perhaps by that time Cleric and Finn will be clicked through circumstances and deacons at the renewal. Either way, instigative conflict and drama would be should Sheila do a deja vu redo at the oath renewal. Is Carl covering up the truth about Sheila's demise? The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that commodity veritably strange is going on the crematorium where Sheila Carter's body was taken to be cremated. Carl Ferret is acting veritably strangely and seems to be projecting his issues onto Deacon Sharp. Considering Carl's other shady haggling, is he covering up the verity about Sheila demise? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Carl Ferret embalmed Sheila Carter before the service Carl admitted to Deacon that he embalmed Sheila's body. So how, exactly, could Carl miss the fact that Sheila had ten toes, rather of the nine she was supposed to have? Did Carl just overlook this fact and go on with the embalming anyway? Should Carl not have known that Sheila only had nine toes from the necropsy? Sheila isn't a starfish, so integers don't typically grow back. Also, it clearly wasn't a secret that Sheila cut off her toes to fake her death months ago. How could this not be proved nearly? Could Carl be helping Sheila or the person who's dead to keep Sheila's position a secret? BMB spoilers, Deacon Sharp's declaration causes Carl Ferret's shock Carl seems to be more entangled in this than he should be in all honesty. The bases on the body were all covered up tightly. When Deacon transferred the body into the cremation chamber, he easily saw ten toes, just like the followership did. When Deacon loses it, Carl goes to get him a drink. Still, Carl also ends up being the bone. Who drinks it? Latterly, Carl gets a phone call and has to leave again. Cleric is left to grapple with his passions while sitting alone where the body was just cremated. Is Carl taking orders from someone on that phone? Could Sheila be using Carl to pay back Deacon for changing his mind about their marriage? Is this Sheila's way to make Deacon pay? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Carl Ferret could get caught up in this mess so far, we've no idea who Carl has been talking to. Still, he could get a phone call from a mysterious co-conspirator in the future that offers some answers to this dilemma in the future. Maybe Carl is working with Sheila or indeed Sugar to fake Sheila's death. What could Carl have to gain from all of this? There's obviously some reason that Carl is tangled up in this plot, so it seems he has to know commodity that he's not revealing about Sheila's demise. Does Carl know where the real Sheila is and will he reveal her position? Is Carl a part of the reason Sheila hasn't resurfaced? Steffi Forrester John Finnegan's Mental State BNB spoilers reveal that Steffi has been in quite the mental state ever since the double shooting. Even though Finn and Steffi both recovered from Sheila nearly killing them both, there was still trauma. Then, when Sheila turned up alive once again and started working at I.L. Giardino restaurant, Steffi spiraled even more. Now with Sheila dead, Steffi thinks that her problems are over. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Steffi's insanity, Sheila sightings just her imagination? However, Steffi seems to be going overkill regarding Hope Logan. Steffi even suggested that Brooke Logan could be next. BMB Spoilers, Deacon Sharp's Theory Fans just watched as Deacon thought he saw Sheila's body with ten toes in the crematory. For this reason, Deacon believes that Sheila might still be alive. Deacon brought his theory to Finn, who called him crazy. Then, Finn shared Deacon's theory about Sheila with Steffi. Even though Steffi might not express it, she could become concerned that Deacon might be onto something.